to your left, Buck. Shoot her. Shoot her. Front. If you've never hunted the South Carolina mountains before, all of them are Buck. It's different. Let me tell you the situation this morning. Meh. Oh, yeah. It's warm. It's humid. There's plenty of acorns on the ground. Nothing's dying yet, so there's green stuff on everything. There is no rut activity yet. You put all that together, it makes for pretty sorry deer hunt. I haven't seen a deer all weekend. just been removed from the Bella Vista Baptist Church. I'm going to park right here in the library. Um, I don't know, you guys excited? Yeah. You are? Are you going to get some big birds tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. 55 and going to the Dan Ryan Let's South. See. Welcome to the SOA trip brought to you by the Capuchin Vocation Office. All right, well, we made it down to South Carolina. Uh, Listen, I'm trying to follow the directions here. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're going to stop somewhere to close the bat tailgate? <laughs> Just want to give you a quick update. I'm running on about not even two hours of sleep because I haven't slept since Denver. Um, hits just keep on coming. Heading out to where I saw that nice buck the other night. Uh, we just were the first reporters let back into the main protesting anarchist convergence space. And we're after Nyeti today, are we, man? 40, 42 incher. Uh, right now we're in uh, um, somewhere in Georgia. I have no idea. Fort Benning, Georgia. Fort Benning, Georgia. Yeah. Fort Benning. And uh, we are uh, about to go to the protest. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Not allowed to photograph on yeah. military bases. That's it. Well, no, no, you can, you can photograph anywhere on the site, but. You take any one of those factors out, and things improve a lot. Last weekend, it was cool. Got down in the 40s at night. Fifties in the morning. That's not cold, but it's not warm. Right now, it's in the mid 70s. And up here, it just doesn't make for good hunting at all. Okay, I, I ordered this shirt myself. I had it made on Cafe Press the second day after the spill happened, actually, because I was so repulsed. But, um, you know, I just got to say, it was kind of sad, because today I wore it to work at the restaurant I, I work at. I'm part owner of, actually, but I still waitress there. And I think I waited on 500 people. And do you know only two mentioned my shirt to me? And one of those was a European guy that wanted to know if the BPs uh, meant British Petroleum. And I was like, yes, it does. 
And I was just like, you know, it was kind of sad because I wore it on purpose because I wanted people to talk about it. I wanted to have conversations with it about it because we need to change this, right? Even after we get this fixed, God willing, this, this stops it and, and it's... There's an awful lot in this world that can get you down and you think there's really not much you can do about it. And whenever I think about that, I think of that wonderful story about the starfish. There is this big storm and thousands of starfish were thrown up on the beach and of course they, they die out of water. We got three. <laughs> three signatures. So we've only been in... out here for five minutes. So yeah, that's not yeah, so bad. That's good. Well done guys, keep going. Someone else. Someone else. factors out and things improve a lot. Last weekend it was cool. Woo! Got down in the 40s at night, 50s in the morning. And that's not cold, but it's not warm. Right now it's in the mid 70s. And up here it just doesn't make for good hunting at all. And these these uh, hunting shows I have no idea one day a man was walking along the beach when he noticed a figure in the distance as he got closer he realized that the figure was of a boy picking something up and gently throwing it into the ocean this is what's going on with the oil spill we're not really getting up-to-date um, information you're not seeing um, the latest uh, pictures of it from um, above and there's a reason for that they don't want you to see it it really is reminding me of of the war really like we can't see the devastation of what's going on in the war we can't see the the maimed and dead soldiers coming home because if we did these hunting shows <clears throat> have no idea what it is like here. I would love to see any one of these celebrity hunters spend a season here in South Carolina on this hunting club just to see how they do. I'm not saying they're bad hunters. Victim number two. What I'm saying is if they spent a season on this hunting club, they would not have a season's worth of footage to show you. It's our first night um, in South Carolina. It's 7, 8, September 20th. It happens to be my birthday. So um, we are at Lucky Bee's Farm. Hey guys, my name is Curtis Fukui and I am a college student that's trying to make a difference in the world and in someone's life, hopefully. I am a third generation Japanese American and yes, I am a US citizen. As a US citizen, I have a license, I have a social security number, I have credit, credit cards, I'm eligible for financial aid, whether that be loans, scholarships, or grants. And I have a job, or had a job, 
that didn't require me to get paid under the table. Now, I thought that these things were just given to us just for living here, and I never really appreciated it. But actually, there are people out there that don't get the same privileges as us. What are you doing, son? The man asks. You see how many starfish there are? You'll never make a difference. The boy paused thoughtfully and picked up another starfish and threw it into the ocean. It sure made a difference to that one, he said. You see what I mean. I am not a stupid hunter. I am not a bad hunter. In fact, I think I'm pretty good. Uh, but it's tough out there. It's tough. And I just wanted to share that because uh, it's something you should know. <laughs>